Hey guys, Brian with Barebones Entertainment. Before we bring you this new fun SOA interview, we did want to let you know that my wife, who records all of our interviews for us from very early on until now, at So What on Sunday, the last day of the festival, she did have a health scare that caused some shakiness in the video and a little bit of unsteadiness. So the camera may move in and out some, but she did push through because she wanted to bring these interviews to you. So we appreciate your understanding and enjoy the video. Thank you. This is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. This is Brian with Barebones Entertainment. This is Brian with Barebones Entertainment. Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Bones Entertainment. Hey guys, this is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Hey guys, this is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. This is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Hey guys, this is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Hey guys, this is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Hey guys, this is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Hey guys, this is Brian Swan with Barebones Entertainment. Hey, this is Brian Swan Bare Bones Entertainment here on the last day of So What Music Festival. Would you like to introduce yourself and your role in the band? My name is John. I am in the band called Keep Flying, and I play the saxophone and do the singing and the talking and the dancing and the antics and, uh, you know, the, the weird stuff <laughs> on stage. Well, luckily we got the man of all trades here. Yes. <laughs> so when it came to it, where you... Are you excited about all the different kind of roles that you can bring to the band? Like, what do you feel like? Yeah, my what my you can um, bring to it? my so our singer guitar player is the predominant songwriter in the band, mm -hmm. and then we go to the studio and we all work on the songs. But my job, at least with this band, has always been to like take those songs and figure out how to make them better live, mm -hmm. and figure out how to make the energy exist with those songs like, there's always an element to our like we re really go through our songs whenever we have new ones to play and we're like well, what can we do during this what other how can we make this how can we add this to the show what can we add mm -hmm. and because me and Rick are technically auxiliary since mm -hmm. we don't play our horns the entirety mm -hmm. of every song we're able to do other stuff in between when we're playing mm -hmm. I do a bunch of the backup singing which is fun but a lot of times we have nothing to do, so it's so like, what can we do to perform, basically? Mm -hmm. we got six people up there, we're not going to just stand around. Yeah. That works for some bands, doesn't work for us. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, me and him just kind of hype, get, try to get people hyped up mm -hmm. on, on the songs. More than what they would be <laughs> if we weren't doing that, yeah. you know? That's kind of like what me and Rick, Ricky Boy, try to encompass during our set. Which you'll see tonight, as, as always. We've got a couple gimmicks lined up, a couple, couple magic tricks, things that happen during the set. We, we have fun with it, you know? And I think that's one of the things that I've seen with you guys is it does look like you guys are having a lot of fun. And I feel like that when someone's out there having fun on stage, it coordinates to the fans, and you guys are kind of just feeding into each other. For, very rare that we're not having fun. It does happen, you know. We're human. Everyone has an off night. We're human. <laughs> but, yeah, most of the time we're, we're always smiling and laughing because we try to make each other mess up on stage. Mm -hmm. We do it on purpose because it's funny yeah. for us. And I think you're right. I Normally, when I'm laughing hard because something that happened on stage, normally I look in front of me. My glasses are never on, so I can't really see. But mm -hmm. um, people are laughing, yeah. which means people are in it with us, mm -hmm. which means we're doing our job. So... Yeah, I think getting a reaction yeah. is a big part of it. Is if you look out into the crowd then and no one's moving or laughing or anything, then Cor that stinks. Then you kind of have an idea of. And we've had how those to too. Things. Like it happens. Yeah. We've had we've tried every hype thing we can do, <laughs> and it's just not working. And that happens. And when that happens, those are the nights where we get off and we're like, man, we did not get them. We did not. For some reason, it didn't. It didn't hook tonight. Which, you know, what are you going to do? Try again next time. I will say, I do love a good saxophone. Thank you. I always bring something cool that you don't necessarily always see on stage and everything. So I like that I believe at this festival, there was only one other horn here. Mm -hmm. I believe it was Bill Murray. Oh, okay. Is that the band? Yeah. I believe they have a member who played alto sax on like mm -hmm. a couple songs. I know some of the bands have tracks with horns on them, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure we are the only band that has like a proper horn section for the whole festival, which is cool. Yeah, that, that's that's, really cool. that's our stake here. We mm -hmm. are the band with the horns playing in between Evergreen Terrace and Varials on the heavy stage. You know, all good. That's <laughs> our, that's that's our place, and I'm happy to be here. 
So with, um, and I'm, I know you're a seasoned vet now with it and everything, with doing sax and vocals, mm -hmm. um, and is that sometimes in the same song too? Yeah. So with Every that, um, does it sometimes affect how you have to like focus on your breathing 100%. between the two? Like how you do you will, kind of approach that? You will know, I mean, today we've been off for a couple of weeks, so we're going to, we're going to be a little gassed mm -hmm. during the set, a little gassed out about midway through, especially cause we no longer talk except for one place during the set. We just song transition. We just like to play more. Yeah. We get gassed, we get winded. Yes, sometimes from jumping around and screaming and singing and playing the horn, there are times where I go to play a certain horn part and I'm like, oh my Lord, my chops are about to give out right now. Mm -hmm. And I kind of have to like really put a lot more pressure on my lips. Otherwise the notes will come out flat. Sometimes they do come out flat. It happens, yeah. um, especially because of the show we're putting on. We accept that, you know. Um, yeah, we, I, mean, I mean, we're up there putting a P90X on. Yeah. That's our thing. We yeah. like to do it. Um, we have fun doing that. But it is tiring. That's why her half an hour, perfect length. When we get told, can you fill 45? We're like, we can. Yeah. <laughs> but my lord, that extra 15 minutes is... Imagine the Peloton and you're doing the high intensity mm. one and you're just, I'm done at 30. I have to mm. do 15 more minutes. It's hard. So, yeah, it's hard. But I'm not going to complain about it. Yeah. We like to do it. If we didn't like to do it, we'd just stand up there. Yeah. I put on a suit and a little funny hat and I'd just stand there and play the songs behind our drummer. Mm. That's not the band that we are, so. No, I think that's really cool that you guys do bring, like, so much energy to the stage and everything. And even with sometimes getting tired out there and especially like in the heat that can drain you and everything that just you guys keep it up you keep the intensity there and everything oh, yeah. and fans love that and even fitting more songs in that's just better for the fans too and the smaller the club like we're on a stage today which is mm -hmm. awesome happy to be here when we play small clubs or house shows those are usually the ones that are the most uh, transferring energy because we're on the same level mm -hmm. as everyone so when we're moving people start moving People giving us energy back makes us have more energy. It's tough, any mm. band. When you're up there killing it and people are just standing, it's hard. Or mm. even worse if they're sitting. Mm. Like, that's tough because you're, you're starting to feel your energy deplete mm. because you're not getting anything back. Yeah. We're very lucky to get it back. Even when it's two or three people mm -hmm. that are hyped, it's like, okay, I'm boosted again. Mm. I feel like you push through now and, and you jump a little bit higher, mm. um, which, is, which is nice. And I do love the festivals and everything. Club shows can kind of feel sometimes a little bit more intimate. Cause yeah, it is, of course. Like they're there. They are there for you're you. You're in it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You're in it with them. You're in the bubble group. together. Mm -hmm. Yes, hundred percent. And one of the cool opposite sides of that with the festivals and everything is there's so many people walking around. That yeah. You guys can kind of grab people in that are walking by that might walk over or walked by and turned around and came back. Like for you guys on stage. How does that feel to see someone like kind of come back to your stage after walking Pretty much, through and bringing people in? I will say it's it's not a brag; it's just fact. We have always had like every festival we've played, we've always had people like a year later coming to some other show we're playing. Like I first saw you at this festival when I was just walking by, mm -hmm. and you got I stopped because I was like, "What in the hell?" First I saw the horns and was like, "Oh, they're a ska band. Cool." Mm. Then I waited a minute and like, oh wait, no they're not. Yeah. They are something else. They're just a, they're a crazy fast punk band. Mm -hmm. They got the horns up there. That's what sets them out. Makes them different. And that is our thing. Mm -hmm. Just like Yellow Card had a violin and Motion City Soundtrack had the keyboard. Yeah. We have the horns. That's, yeah. that's our thing. Um, it feels good when people are like, you, you made me stop. It worked. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, I was here for a tray you mm. and I walked by and stopped for three songs because I was very interested in what you were doing yeah. and I'm and now I'm here seeing you at this club show mm. because I saw you at that festival which I hope happens again today you know yeah, we, we like I said we are playing between Evergreen Terrace and Burials two mm. heavier bands yeah. um, one of which we're homies with the other of which I've known for a long time mm -hmm. and um, so that's cool for us to be like in between those two bands mm. but clearly those bands fans they might hate our music, who knows, but they might be there because they're waiting for them and they might be like, damn, this is... If we can win over 10 of those people yeah. just from doing our normal show, that's a win. Yeah, It's a big win. So I am very happy and honored that, that uh, Mike put us on the festival mm -hmm. uh, so that we can hopefully continue to grow here 
in, in uh, the Texas area and f to people who flew in from wherever they flew in from. Mm -hmm. you know? And this one in particular is really cool because it was kind of the first one back mm -hmm. from our taking off for a couple of years and we had COVID and everything. And this one, it was just very all out. And we have all different kind of genres here bringing all different types of fans in. So there's such a possibility. Yeah. And never know what set you're going to walk by and all and that. Diverse really patrons cool. as well. Mm -hmm. Every diverse. At least yesterday I walked around and saw all people of all sorts. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. All just loving music. Different stages, different kinds, and I think Mike did a cool. He he, he did a cool thing trying to do something familiar yet different. Mm -hmm. um, and I've just had a fun time walking around the stadium, not for nothing. I like getting my steps in. Mm -hmm. I have not minded walking around the concourse mm -hmm. 17 times, down the field and back, into the middle and back. I don't know. It's been it's been fun for me. Yeah, we've we definitely got a lot enjoyed it. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> We're having a good time. Yeah, I know. Um, you guys released an album yeah. in 2020, right? Yep. Is there any hopes for fans for new music coming in that you can talk about? 100%. I'll talk about anything now because um, it's soon. We Survival came out 2020. Mm -hmm. We've been pushing that the whole time because it came out during COVID, so mm -hmm. we, we just weren't satisfied with moving on from those songs. Um, we have the live version of that record that was taken from our first shows back in uh, summer last year. Um, coming out in June, the next month, soon, a couple weeks, which is cool, on vinyl, super limited, fun thing that we did, we took the audio from the board and we just had our buddy Tom mix it, it came out decent, nice. um, no overdubbing, it, it just sounds like the show, it, mm. the punk band, sometimes things are off, but we don't want to overdub it, we're just, no. it is what it is, it feels real, mm. it is, because it's just taken directly, barely mixed, slightly mixed. Um, we have... Again, because we don't really want to move on from that record, we went to the studio and we actually did uh, something that we've always wanted to do, which is we've done a record of recomposed uh, versions of those songs, oh, plus okay. some of our older material. Yeah. So we have a record coming out late summer called Revival, Survival and Revival, which is recomposed versions of the songs in, in genres that aren't what we do. None of these are punk songs. They're all different styles we just took a risk and tried it isn't where our band is going it's something fun that we wanted to do yeah. because we like other kinds of music mm -hmm. and uh that is the next thing we are going to the studio in july to to work on proper key flying songs mm -hmm. like punk songs like our our sound yeah. but we just wanted to like keep sitting on those survival songs mm -hmm. and we had so much fun in the studio and we know that our people are either going to like it or hate it or be somewhere in between mm -hmm. It was more so for us, and we hope you like it. Yeah. Um, they're co it's cool. It's, um, it's just types of music I've never thought that I would ever be performing. Mm -hmm. And listening back to it, I listened to it again last night when I was showering because I'm like excited about coming out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, we did this. We're all just punk guys, and we, we wrote a record of recomposed versions that are everywhere from John Mayer to Mumford & Sons to to uh, SoundCloud rap, and it, uh, we just had fun with it. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what people think. I think everyone's gonna like at least one song on there. Yeah. Like I like this one the most. The rest, ah, or like I like this one because I like that style mm -hmm. of music. Well, I like this. But yeah. And it sounds like that's gonna be an absolute blast because I mean, it's cool, it's man. Cool. It's a really cool idea. And you know, we we hired our friend Becky who set us up today, mm -hmm. big picture, and she's she gets the vision, and I don't know, we're just having fun with it because. We're still not a signed band, so we can really do whatever we want. No. So, and we, so we are. I think that's really cool, because yeah. I mean, you'll have things like there's this whole thing that's been going on like online with doing like alternative songs as like yes. country stuff and things like that. Like, and this is kind of where the it's cool idea, and idea came and from. Cool idea. So a lot of our friends have done these like recomposed versions, like um, my friends in Four Years Strong, they did uh, Some of You Will Like This, Some of You Won't, which mm -hmm. was a record that was different styles of their current catalog, which some people liked yeah. and some people didn't. They hit it on and the head. <laughs> great. Um, and this was kind of like, there's a lot of bands that have been doing that. Mm. This isn't so much like acoustic, it's not like an unplugged record. Yeah. It is a recomposed version. We, it's full band mm -hmm. um, with lots of different instruments and stuff. So um, I don't know. It was just fun. We wanted to do something different and, yeah. we, and we wanted to keep harping on survival yeah. and this was a way to continue to do that mm -hmm. so let's find That's out you know 
August. Bring in people with that one, and then yeah. they're like, well, what is the original sound Correct. like? Which, and then they pick up Survival too. Right, right. We've, we've talked about both. that. What if someone likes this version of Candy Cane Forest more? Well, that's what it is. Let yeah. them listen to that version. It, it's on the internet. Stream it or don't. I don't know. And you guys recently announced that you're going to be jumping on a tour this fall. Yep. With uh, Lesson Jake and Bowling for Super, right? That's the dream tour for us. That's an awesome Those one. are the, the two bands song. separately mm-hmm. that we were like, if we could tour with this band or we could tour with this band, we just know their fans would be very receptive to our music and mm-hmm. it would do really well. And then those bands decided to do a tour together and then those bands and their teams decided to give us a shot at being an opener. And man, that is... That's really above and beyond excite, excitement for uh, for our band. We're, we're, we're super grateful. Sounds like a match made in heaven to me. Yeah. So with this being a festival and everything, mm-hmm. are there any bands playing today that you're looking forward to seeing? Our best friends and nominee play close to us. Our other homies in Forever Came Calling play, I think, directly after us. Belmont after them. Chunk and Captain Chunk after them. Our stage is a lot of like friends, which mm-hmm. is kind of nice. Um... Who else do I want to see? You know, I looked at all this on Friday night, and then I blanked. Grayscale, those are those, those are some of my very dear uh, loved ones. They're playing Adobe later on tonight. I'm proud of them. Champs are playing. A lot of bands I've toured with for work or just as uh, friends. It's like a homie fest. It does feel a little bit like Warped, which yeah. I did for many years for work. And so, I don't know, it's kind of like a big reunion. A lot of people that haven't seen each other since before COVID. Mm-hmm. So I've been having really fun, a lot of fun with that. Also seeing some people I, I wish I didn't, but that's how it goes, right? Yeah. As I know, that's one of the cool things with these is seeing old friends and making some new friends and everything. And festivals are great for all of that. Yeah. So I know with the tour coming up, how perfect it sounds. It's going to be some great shows that people definitely need to come out to and be ready for that new album. Was there anything else you might want to say to your fans out there? Have a good summer. Hags, have a good summer, you know? You remember the yearbook? People used to sign it, have a great summer. That's it. It really is like summer is here now and uh, a lot of advice that I've been receiving is to just try and, and just try and have a good summer. Try and have a great time. Go to work, but also make time for yourself and, and enjoy. If Keep Flying's coming to town close to you, which we're doing some stuff this summer. Come on out, say hi, hang out. But if not, go to your local ocean or river. Please be outside and try to enjoy life because we're here. That's great advice. G- genuinely mean that. Try to not take things as, as serious as you might have used to, maybe. Certain things always some things you got to take seriously but try to enjoy yourself and not not live such stressful lives i'm sick of all my friends hair going gray prematurely because of whatever horrible stresses they're dealing with makes me very sad myself included so try not to do that i do love the positivity oh yeah and it's been great i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you for having me fourth wall (laughs)